few political adages have been more destructive than if you wish to have peace, prepare for war, which has been used as a moral justification by the belligerent since the Romans imposed their version of peace at the point of a sword. Tomorrow we will vote on a proposal to divert half a billion euros that could be invested in useful and peaceful projects towards the development of new weaponry and particularly drones. Despite Parliament's resolution that this should be fresh money, 60% of it will come from existing civilian programmes. So we will be investing in weaponry instead of improving communications and satellite technology. This agenda is being driven by our continent's powerful arms companies who have more than doubled their lobbying budget in the last five years. And it seems to have worked. The EU Defence Fund is set to put nearly, 50, nearly 40 billion euros in these companies' pockets over the next 10 years. That's over 30 times larger than the EU's budget for human rights. Sadly, I fear some colleagues on the left of this House will have believed the lobbyists' argument that funding arms protects jobs. But to defend these jobs that thrive on death and destruction while ignoring the life-giving jobs that this same money could support in just and sustainable sectors is a tragic failure of imagination. As Greens, we are committed to a European Union that was founded on peace and continues to support peaceful and secure livelihoods through its aid budget. But we should take note of the fact that the absurd inconsistency is there between spending public money to repair the damage caused by the very weapons that we are subsidising through budgets like the European Defence Industrial Development Programme. I strongly urge my colleagues to vote against this report. If you truly wish for peace, then prepare for peace by transferring the massive defence support budget to the EU's peacekeeping and human rights activities.